Welcome, in this one I'm going to show you how to find the length of the following curve, y equals x to the fourth over 16 plus y over 2 x squared on the interval 1 to 2. I've got it pre-written just because it's too much to try to write out, it would take too long. So first I'm going to use this formula, the integral from a to b to find the length of the root here plus, and that's 1 plus y prime squared dx, keep that in mind, it's a formula, we need to make that work. So what we need to do is find y prime first, and plug it into the root symbol there. So I'm going to have the following, y prime will be equal to 4x uh, to the third over 16. The reason is that up here, back at step 1, uh, the little numbers in the circle tell you the sub number. I bring the 4 down, so it becomes 4x cubed over 16, you see? But that second part above my head, where it's 1 over 2x squared, well, when you differentiate that, it's going to give you negative 1 over x cubed. I'm expecting that at this level, you know how to do that derivative step. And then here, uh, 4 16, so you can simplify to 1 fourth x cubed minus 1 over x cubed. Now we need to compute as follows. Step 3 here, 1 plus y prime squared. So that's going to give me the following. 1 plus 1 fourth x cubed minus 1 over x cubed to the second. But now that's a whole process that looks like the following. So you're going to have to square things out. So it's going to be 1 fourth x cubed. When you square that, it's going to give you 1 16th x to the sixth. Then you're going to have to do 1 fourth x cubed minus, well, times rather negative 1 over x cubed multiplied by 2. So that's going to give you this term in the middle. So let's look through that carefully. It's going to be x cubed. That's this x, x cubed in that position above my head. Then it's going to be an x cubed on the bottom. That's the x cubed above my head in that position. Okay, then it's going to be double that from the basic expansion formula for, you know, binomials. And then you see that 2 there will simplify with a 2 and the 4. And that 1 fourth is coming from here. That's a coefficient. And then lastly, yeah, then you're going to do negative 1 over x cubed uh, squared. So it's going to give you a positive 1 over x, uh, let's see, cubed squared for that reason. Keep that in mind. Okay, I hope you've got that. Good. Now at this point, there's some flexibility in the way you choose to proceed here. So a way to proceed is as follows. At step 5, you're going to copy the 1. That 1 is coming from above my head. Then it's going to be plus 1 16th x to the 6th, minus 1 half. That 1 half negative in the middle. That's back at step 4, right? When the x cubed and the x cubed cancel, then you have 2 fourths that reduces to negative 1 fourth in that position. And at the end, you have 1 over x to the 6th. Let's continue. That's coming here because that's a 6 up there from here, where it says x to the 3rd to the 2nd. Next, you need to simplify this into something that will work with a square root symbol easily, okay? Because this expression back at step 5 doesn't work with square roots very easily. So I'm going to do 1 half, that's coming from 1 minus the 1 half, so that's 1 half at 6, x, x to the 6 over 16 plus 1 over x to the 6, then I take step 6 and I write everything over a common bottom of 16x to the 6, that's going to give me 8x to the 6 plus x12 plus 16, so I'm assuming that at this point you can handle some of those intermediate steps. What is key though is to make the following observation. You can rewrite the x to the 12th as the first term at step 8, as x to the 6th to the 2nd. You can rewrite the middle term of 8x to the 6th as 2 times 4, because 2 times 4 is 8, and then x to the 6th. And that 16 at the end can be written as 4 squared. Why would I want to see it this way? Because then it's basically like a perfect square trinomial. You see, that's the key. That could really trip you up. And then what it says is the following. Down at step 9, you can write x to the 6th plus 4, and that quantity will be squared. But in the bottom, you still have that 16x to the 6th. Continue. We well, can rewrite 16 as 4 squared, and x to the 6th as 4x to the 3rd to the 2nd. And then you can take that 2 and that 2, and you can pull it outside of giant parentheses. So when I do that, it's going to give me x to the 6th plus 4 over 4x cubed, and the whole thing will be raised to the 2nd after that. At this point, I can break this up, because you see in the bottom, I have only one term. So it's going to become x to the 6th over 4x cubed plus 4 over 4x cubed, and the whole thing is raised to the second, then simplify. So like this, for example, x to the sixth with the x cubed will cancel, you'll have x cubed over 4. Then you'll have 4 divided by 4, which is 1, so you'll end up with 1 over x cubed, and the whole thing is squared. Now that you have that expression, I mean this expression above my head, okay, right here, you can plug that into the square root formula. So it's going to give you the length is the integral from 1 to 2 of that x cubed over 4 plus 1 over x cubed squared, and then that square will cancel off with the square root symbol. That's what those little marks mean. That's 15. I will have simply integral from 1 to 2 of x cubed over 4 plus 1 over x cubed. You see? Then I can write this as integral from 1 to 2 of 1 fourth x cubed plus x to the negative third. 
we're making good progress here. After that, when I go to step 17, I can empty differentiate. So it's going to be up here, back at step 16. You're going to use the power rule, okay? I skip that step. It's going to be 3 plus 1, which is 4. And the bottom is going to also be 4. And the 4 from the empty differentiation and the 4 from the fraction will give you here 1 16th and a 4 up top. Over here for x to the negative third is going to be x to the negative third plus 1, which is x to the negative second. That comes over here, you see, above my head now. And the same thing will happen in the bottom, right? You're going to have negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. So over here it's going to show up as negative 1 half for that reason. And this is now evaluated to be evaluated between 2 and 1. Step 18, I have 1 16th. And I plug in the upper limits, so that would be 2 to the 4th minus 1 half over 1, 2 to the 2nd minus. I'm closing all of this with them big brackets. So that's why that is a minus also on this side. I kind of continued the minus from 18 to 19. And then I'll have 1 16th, 1 to the 4th minus 1 half times 1 over 1 squared. Work that out. So 2 to the 4th up here back at step 18 is 16. 16 divided by 16 is 1. So this gives me 1 at step 20 above my head. Then it's going to be over here, look. Back at step 18, 2 to the second is 4. So this becomes 1 fourth times a negative 1 half, which is back at step 20, negative 1 eighth. Look back at step 19 over here above my head. That's 1 to the fourth, which is 1. 1 times 16th is a 16th. So back at step 20, it shows up as 1 16th in that position. I hope you've got that. Okay, and then also 1 over 1 half, that's 1. 1 times a, yes, 1 times a half is a negative 1 half. So that shows up as negative 1 half. At step 18, I'm sorry, 20 above my head there. Almost done. Continue. So 1 minus 1 8, that's going to give you essentially 8 8 minus 1 8, which is 7 8. And then over here I'll have 1 16th minus 1 half. Well, that's the same as 1 16th minus 8 16 Then it's going to give you at step 22, 7 8 minus a negative 7 16 The two negatives will make a positive, of course. So you'll end up with the following. 14 16 where am I coming, where's that coming from? Because 7 eighths converted to 16 is 14 16 so you just multiply 7 by 2 to get 14, 18 by 2 is 16. So it becomes 14 16 plus 7 16 which is 21. And that is the whole answer then, lastly. 21 16 is the length of that curve. I've tried to explain in the greatest detail I know how to do. I'm going to try to zoom out here. I hope you can still see it, I know it's small, but nevertheless. At least you can see the whole work hopefully from top to bottom. That's it. Thank you so much. I'll see you in another video. Please give a like and subscribe.